Is the 40k Imperium life anything like IRL? I was taking a walk to the grocery store today after playing some 40k related video games and having a look around my city block and I suddenly realised how little I know about the mundane stuff of the Imperium. Does a typical Imperial planet have all the stuff we take for granted in real life? Stuff like convenience stores, gas stations, grocery stores, pawn shops, taxi services, bus stations, restaurants, etc. I already asked a friend of mine who is hardcore into the lore of the 40k universe and they said that the Imperium is nothing like our world today. So they hardly have any of those things because the Imperium is a tyranny that heavily controls and distributes all goods and services they have. So they have complete control over all their subjects. Otherwise hive worlds wouldn't exist. That doesn't sound quite right to me so I figured I'd ask TG for your opinion. Yeah, I would say that's wrong. It really does depend on the planet. Yeah. It 100% depends on the planet, how valuable the planet is. You know, like, most planets, as, as long as you pay your tithes to the Imperium, you're they straight. Would, they they would go, obviously, they're going to leave they would, Yeah, they would obviously have, like, markets and stuff. Oh, yeah. Be able to, to feed the yeah. colonies, but... Um, it depends on the planet, 100% for me. Yeah. Like, you know, and, like, you know, like, I do like to imagine the Judge Dread is just set in the 40k universe. And just yeah, no does, one says. It does give that feel, though. <laughs> like, like, come on. It, it is. Yeah. If it isn't already, and, like, you know, like, we all know Arbiters are Judge Dread. Come on, guys. Come on. <laughs> Look at China. It's as close to 40k as we've gotten to this point. I mean, like, yeah, could you imagine the live leak videos that 40k would have? I mean, they'd be pretty fucking beast, not yeah. gonna lie. Yeah. Like, you know, you, you think you've seen Chinese factory deaths. We do see 40k factory deaths. It takes the new limit. <laughs> Overpopulation? Check. People there live like cockroaches stacked on top of one another. Check. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> yeah. I, my nightmare would be living in, in like a places hyper. like China or New York or London. I couldn't live places in Places which are yeah. so overpopulated. Like, like, no, give me Ireland and give me a small little town. <laughs> yeah, I could. <laughs> I'm, uh, happy. I'm, I'm I'm not one for living in major cities. Human life is completely worthless. If you get hurt, you either walk it off or you die because there's no medical treatment for you. And if anyone injures you, he has to finish you off. Funerals are cheaper and on. Again, we've all seen the live league videos. Mm -hmm. If you are exceptionally lucky and have good grades, you might get a position in the public sector, administratum. Cozy office job with very small chance of being fired as long as you adhere to the party guidelines. Good luck with that though, because without bribing the teachers, you will never get those marks. Cops slash arbiters will stop you in the middle of the street for no reason and rob you. You have no way of knowing if the actual police is just robbing you or well-dressed gangsters, <laughs> so you don't stop for police for any reason. The government carries out purges every month of various minority groups, but you don't care because you're stuck working in a factory for literal pennies that are barely enough to pay rent let alone food. So you're forced to hunt down local wildlife like dogs or rats to feed yourself or your family. Kidnappings and muggings are the norm. Is this China or London? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to tell sometimes. I don't know, this is giving me little North Korea vibes, but yeah. like the difference but between China and North Korea are very similar. The only difference between them is that North Korean's more open. Yeah. And that's it. And even then, I don't know if they're more open, but they're more... Yeah, I, yeah. They're just more blatant about it. Yeah, that yeah that would so be a, yeah that would be a good way to put it. Kidnappings and muggings are the norm, so you either join in with the gangs for a bit of security, or just accept the fact that one day you will wake up with no kidneys. <laughs> yeah, that's, like, that's I'm I'm getting confused. I, I'm, I'm sometimes I'm picturing China, sometimes I'm picturing like some hive world. Yeah, there are no nice people. Everyone wants something for something, and even then you cannot trust them. And they cannot trust you. No civil liberties whatsoever. Streets are dangerous, but you're not allowed to protect yourself. If a robber breaks into your house and you get rid of him, bury him. Because if he survives, he will sue you and you will both go to prison. And God help you if you criticise or offend a party member. Yeah, pretty, pretty close. You know, I've never actually really thought about this, how close China is to... And yet the there's 40- people out there who want communism. <laughs> Well, you see, the thing is, at this point, it's kind of, it's so hard to tell. Like, you know, is Chinese, is it communism? It's, like, it, it is, but it's mixed with a lot of, cap- it's, it's, state a lot con- of capitalism. it's state-controlled capitalism. Yeah. 
it's like I like we're we're not one for politics. This video is going to get us blacklisted by China. We're going to end up getting like you know <laughs> we're going to get black bagged. Yeah. Uh, if you could buy the models, it would help us out a lot because uh, I don't I don't I want... don't see this video being nowhere. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, you, like you, everyone knows what YouTube's like, I suppose. Yeah. And they'll do anything. Yeah. Like anyway, look, let's keep going. Let's hope there's no more China stuff because I'm 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 not getting in any more bother. No. <laughs> In terms of general impressions, I'm more with your friend on this. Of course commerce exists in some form. Everyone needs to buy shit at some point. But a lot of the stories you describe seem dangerously close to freedom, and thus not grim dark enough. No, you see, I, it, it really depends. For me, it really does well, depend. restaurants and shit like that, yeah. But like grocery stores... Well, it, dep- it there, depends. There has to be markets. Well, the problem is, the way I would view it is, when it comes to 40k... Okay, so it depends on how much tithe they're paying, how much taxation are they sending off to the Imperium, yeah. how much are they sending off for the war effort, all that type of stuff. Yeah. It really does more just come down to how close they are to any war going on. Yeah. Which in the Imperium is everywhere, so you pretty much fucked. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty grim. It's not a very nice lifestyle. You're not going to become some uh, Jeff Bezos <laughs> yeah, type. No. That's, that's, not, that's not a reality. You could maybe run a stall selling rat hot dogs. Maybe. That's Possibly. yeah. I would, I, would, I would say, that, but again, China. But you'd probably have again, to China. That's just China. <laughs> like you know, no. you get you got a royal out. Yeah. Oh my god! Can you imagine the forty k equivalent of got a royal? Ugh. Like if you guys don't, don't know what got a royal is, don't look, don't look it up. It's not <laughs> don't worth look it. it up. It's absolutely vile. Let's keep moving, will we? Why would you be allowed to buy groceries? You get your food allotment from the depot, and that's it. Maybe you can bribe the official in charge to slip in some extra nice bits, but there's no formalised process for that. Why would you be allowed to heal a taxi? You move, or you are moved, from your housing complex to your labour complex, and that's the only route you're supposed to take. Again, I think this depends. It's one of those ones, does this planet have to enforce these types of regulations? Because I just don't believe that everywhere in the Imperium can live like this without... Chaos, Some sort of revolt. Re- revolts, chaos taking hold, mm-hmm. you know, uh, gene steers, mm-hmm. abuse in the system. I think there it just it depends be, on how much stress that is I know it's meant under, to be grimdark, but, but it there has be to be some sort of... Some places in the Imperium that aren't yeah. as bad as others. Yeah. Like, it's not going to be, there's not going to be anywhere particularly nice. Like, people say, oh yeah, agri-walls seem nice. Like, could you imagine the pesticides in the atmosphere? I know. Could you imagine, that. like, oh my god, could you imagine anything more grim than a planet of crop fields? Like wheat, all oh, you see. It. Oh, I don't know. It just seems just so... smell like shite twenty four seven. Yeah, I don't think like I'll literal be... shite. You see, whenever it comes in the springtime here, and everybody, all the farmers are out spraying manure in the fields. I know. They're, it's just shite everywhere. You you literally want to live on a ship, can Yeah. But there's going to be plenty of food, and you're more than likely not going to get sent off to die in one of the countless wars. Yeah. So you know, you got that going for you, but you're probably going to be dead at thirty. But <laughs> yeah. most people will be so. Eh, yeah, why complain about it? Maybe there isn't enough law enforcement to stop you from walking or sneaking into a train. But they're not going to allow entire businesses to function on the basis of civilian transport. Why would you need to buy gasoline? Everyone with the right to own a vehicle would refuel at military bases or checkpoints, etc, etc. Depends on the planet. Yeah. Hey guys, do you like models in your tabletop role-playing games? Because we do too. Do you like having big bitty wifeys on your table? Because we do too. (laughs) (laughs) We got human bitties. We got lizard bitties. We got orc bitties, oni bitties, cat bussies. We've got everything you want at (laughs) neckbeardia.co.uk. Check the links down below. It helps us out a lot. Sorry for interrupting the video. Let's get on the story. Worlds can be completely disconnected from the Imperium. And it's entirely possible that were they sufficiently technologically advanced, they could settle down into modern adjacent standards of living. Look at the early space cop days of Rogue Trader, and the cult limos of early gene stealer cults for an idea of what the closest thing to your 80s gothic punk analogue would be. Just know that the entire point of the grim dark setting is that any time the narrative lens falls on a place, it's because there's some serious shit going down. I mean, like, you're not going to find much interest in, like, yeah, everything was nice over in Sector 9. Yeah. Sector 9 had, a, like, you know, the ultimate you're segmentum had a great time. That. Yeah. You're not gonna... Yeah, you're going to have, oh, yeah, by the way, um, yeah, the world, the world, yeah, Necrons came up and everyone's skin fell off. Yeah. And then Orcs showed up. And then the Imperium started fighting itself just because 
it felt like it yeah. and then some people fell to chaos and then uh, Slash showed up and everyone started fucking eat. you know you get what I'm trying to say yeah they're not going to tell you about the planet that had the street party yeah do you remember the, do you remember that uh, what was that clap for car you still remember yeah. that <laughs> <laughs> there was a Nurgle invasion on uh, on Terror and then for some reason clap for uh, Primarchs <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh, I'm, like, I'm, for people that don't live in the UK I have no idea what we're talking about no. but let's just keep going your friend is a retard not me by the way <laughs> of course not me mm. Mm, okay <laughs> assuming pre-new 40k while the imperium on the whole is generally tyrannical on the micro level macro 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 level yeah out of sheer necessity it is almost impossible to say anything about the average imperial world simply because they can differ so radically pretty much yeah like it really does depend yeah it's very hard to depend but Across the board, it's going to be pretty shit. Like, a paradise world might as well be what we are on at the minute. Yeah. Like, they call it a paradise world, but in reality, it's just... Shit. Oh, wait. Well, I was going to say, well, like, you know, is real, real life... What would what would be the cult of today? It would either be Nurgle... Talk- what? Oh, I thought what? you meant, like... It, whoa, sorry, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I said TikTok. <laughs> TikTok, a cult of kids. It is a fucking well, cult. What, what, what would TikTok be under? Slanesh? Depends on what side of TikTok you're on. I would, I would say, I would say, Slanesh would be the most powerful cult of today. Today, probably because sex sells so much. Sex does sell so much. Um, maybe, maybe we go with Nurgle. Or is there like a? Is there like one of war? Because everything, everybody well, seems well, to be well, at each can, other's throats. We can say maybe corn. Corn's pretty big in the Middle East. <laughs> Corn's, corn's pretty. Corn's got a big uh, full one in the Middle East. We could say Slanesh. Slanesh is pretty big in the Western world. Um, Zeech, I can't say where he's from because that'll just land us into What's so much. Zeech? The Lord of Change. Oh. And then last off, I'd say Nurgle's pretty big in China. Nurgle's got a big <laughs> full one in China. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Is, is there any like sub gods? Yeah, where do Maybe, you think they're going? Like, you know, where, where, where would you plant them? I'm going to say Nash has definitely got some cults in the ES. Easy, it's got... Oh, oh definitely. 100%. London's got quite a few of them as well. Um, Corn, I'm going to go with Middle East just because Middle East is just... Come on, they're, they're just at each other's throats all, all the time. time. Definitely because of Luna, we're going to have to go with Nurgle. Oh, yeah. And uh, I can't speak of the last one without getting into a lot of issues and bother so look hey, look this is just a time let's just keep going why am i, why am I can't talking about finish this post oh okay, sorry <laughs> I, forgot, I completely forgot where we were there are feudal worlds stuck in perpetual dark ages ruled by a favored nobility that use technology we can only dream of and that they consider magic there are entire fortress worlds rigidly structured in a military fashion and where the only normal is that which would put sparta to shame Minus a whole fucking little boy shit. Yeah. Unless, I don't know. <laughs> Unless there's some nasty cults, boys. Like, you, know, you, you never know where. Can't, like, can't trust chaos, boys, all right? <laughs> there are agriculture worlds dominated by sparsely populated rural areas surrounded by automated farmlands. There are hive worlds that vary between utopian and dystopian cityscapes, sometimes on the very same world. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So it's hard to tell. What we can say, however, is that to the vast majority of humanity, life is recognisable and relatable to us one way or another. Humanity hasn't changed that much, and there's no singular mandated economy imposed on all worlds. So yeah, odds are that there will be grocery stores, pawn shops, taxi services. The Imperium does not heavily control all goods and services. There are legions of imperial fleets and charter captains in a massive churning economy, largely unregulated by modern standards. This isn't just because of what we know of 40k, but also where the influences came from, such as Judge Dredd, Heinlein, Asimov and Jin. I fucking love Jin. Fucking love Jin. They best not fuck that I've movie up. Seen it. I think you tried to get me to watch it a few times. Yeah. I think I, I think you can it. make it past the box. I don't he, even he think of No, I can't No, remember. I don't even think of it. Najan is an ivory world. There are templates for such places, drawn up in the fathomless past and never altered by the administratum. All ivory worlds are of similar size, located in similar orbital zones within their void systems, and subject to specific exposure 
to a prescribed spectrum of solar radiation. Their soils have to be within a tight compositional range and they have to be close to a major supply world. I mean, that all makes sense. Yeah. Like, you know, if you're going to build a template of, like, okay, we're going to do all of our agricultural here, I would like to think they're all going to be kind of similar, mm. you know? The Imperium is not a gentle custodian of such places. After discovery of a candidate planet, the first 50 years are spent in terraforming, according to well-worn Martian procedures. All pre-existing life is scrubbed from the rocks, either by the application of controlled virus chewers or by timed flame drops. The atmosphere is regulated, first through the actions of gigantic microprocessors, and thereafter by a land-based network of control units, more commonly referred to as command nodes. Weather, as least is generally understood, disappears. Rainfall becomes a matter of controlled timing, governed by satellites in low orbit, and kept in line by fleets of dirigibles. The empty landscape is divided up into colossal production zones, each patrolled by crawlers and pest thropters. Millions of base level servitors are imported, kept at the very lowest level of cognitive function, but bulked up by a ruthless level of muscle binders. Soon after this process completes, every agri world looks exactly the same. A flat, wind rummaged plain of high yield crops swaying towards the empty horizon. A person could walk for days and never see a distinctive feature. Not that anyone sane would choose to walk in such places. The industrial fertilizer dumps are so powerful that they turn the air orange and make it impossible to breathe unfiltered. A single growing season exhausts the soil completely, requiring continual delivery of more sprays of nitrates and phosphates. The delivery from the grimy birth of hovering dispatch flyers. Look, guys, all I'm saying is, where the fuck is there nice to live? And absolutely if, 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 fucking no way. If you could pick, if you could go on holiday, right? If you could get a blue shirt with the 40 k universe, where are you gonna go? I would say Ultramar, but then it got like abused by Tyranids, so no. I, can't say, cause I don't know. <laughs> um, is there anywhere nice to live? I honestly can't say one nice place. <laughs> Terror is an irradiated wasteland. I'm not into fucking sex robots for Mars. Why, where's the sex robots? Not a, not that I want to go there, oh, but Mar- where's the sex robots uh, for Mars? Omnisa and all that shit. And, all right. You know, the, the shitty 40k meme from, oh, they fucked a toaster. <laughs> 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 you guys know my thoughts about 40k memes, okay, guys? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, what will we ask? Where would you like to live in 40k? <laughs> or what would your... Di- what would No, you know what? what where would, would you put the Chaos Gods? Yeah, where would you put the Chaos Gods? Also, I want to know, what would your job be? If you... Right, so I reckon, in my old job, I was definitely a servitor. I was definitely a brain dead... Um, dish, dishwasher. <laughs> <laughs> I was a servitor, definitely. I was a kitchen porter for fuck's sake. <laughs> And yeah. Uh, yeah, I would definitely say that I was uh, I, lo- I was a lobotomized human husk. But yeah, pretty much. I think like what what would your what would your job be? What would it translate to? I'd probably to the be 40- like the fucking chambermaid doing no bull or something. Yeah, just some bullshit job. Yeah, just something some like shite that. Job. It, 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 let's be honest, with you, vast some ma- really shite job. Vast majority or it'd humans. Be like a fucking wet nurse or something. <laughs> <laughs> Did he remember that uh, TV show? And it was like uh, horrible jobs in history. Someone needs to do a version of that, but for forty k. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I think that would, that would oh mate, that would be brilliant. I'd love that. Yes, but yeah, what would your job be if it translates at all? And like, be honest about yeah. it. Don't be like, oh, I'll be I'd be this. No I, I, be, I I would I would be I would be an old groom green because uh, no you no you in real me. life you work in Walmart. It's yeah. like, like calm down. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm sorry to say, but best anyone's gonna get is like. At the very most, if you're in the army, you may get planetary guard. Yeah. That's it. Like, you know, probably the highest. Yeah. But what could we do? Well, I don't know. Like, anyway. Jester. Like, I'm, I, we'd be fucking jesters. Jester. Yeah. <laughs> we would be showing up. You're like, <laughs> entertain us, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But look, look, we've gambled enough. But that's what I like about 40k because... Let's be serious. Forty K is fucking fan fiction at this point. Yeah, it really is. You can just be like, "Well, yeah, that's what they said in the lore," but I'm just gonna take it my way <laughs> and uh, fuck you guys and your new shitty lore and your new marines and like. Okay, I'm not gonna get into arguments. Like, I'm not gonna get into arguments. With yeah, you guys but over write it. down below 
what your ones are. Also, also, if you could, you go ahead and check out the models because yes. this video is definitely demonetized. Yes, for go and hit the link and check out the models. Check out the t-shirts and all the subclasses while you're there. Also, hit subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you get notified every time we post. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye.